First, you're gonna boil some water and then you're gonna let your oil concoction sit in the water. First, I'm gonna start off with my conditioner and then my hot oil concoction. And the oil that I'm using is castor oil and Taylorette oil. So I'm starting off with my hair already parted in four sections. And I literally just got done shampooing my hair. And no, I'm not sweating. It's just the water just dripping all over my skin. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to divide that section in half so that way I can have um, much better moisturization going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my conditioner and then I want to make sure I focus on the ends of course and then I'm going to finger detangle my hair. Make sure it's completely detangled before I use the wide tooth comb. Now I'm going to take my wide tooth comb and I'm going to comb from the bottom and work my way up. And now I'm just going to add some conditioner to the other half of that section, finger detangling. And then I'm going to take the wide tooth comb and comb from the bottom and work my way up. And I want to make sure that my hair is completely detangled so my hair retains as much moisture as possible. So now I'm going to add in the hot oil concoction and I'm just going to apply it to the all strands of my hair. And then just drizzle some and this whole situation is a little bit messy I usually do this while I'm in the shower but for the purposes of this video I'm going to be doing it outside of the shower and in front of the camera and of course I added some oil to the ends of my hair because that's the oldest parts of your hair so you want to make sure that you really are moisturizing the ends of your hair then I'm just going to comb it out again, just to make, just to spread out the moisture, and then I'm gonna um, redivide that section. Gonna add some more oil. And now I'm just going to twist it up. And I'm going to do the same thing, add some more oil. I usually add a whole bunch of conditioner to my hair, but um my conditioner was running out so i had to make sure that i had enough for all of my hair so now i'm going to start on the back and i'm going to apply the same process make sure i add the conditioner first and divide that section up in two so that way um, it's easier to make sure that all of my hair is super moisturized and no hair strands goes without any moisture.
Now, I just want to make it clear that you can do a hot oil treatment whenever you feel it's suitable. Whether you want to use it as a pre-poo routine and do it before you shampoo your hair or after you shampoo your hair in during conditioning when you're doing your deep conditioner either way is fine there is no right way to do that as long as you're getting your hot oil treatments into your regimen you are good to go girl And what I do, I usually add some conditioner to the ends of my hair and then comb it out with the parting comb. Because like I said, uh, you want to make sure that you pay extra attention to your ends whenever you're deep conditioning, shampooing, adding any type of moisture or protein. The ends are super important because it's the oldest part of your hair. And you want to prevent any split ends as well. So I twisted those two and then I twist them up together and I pin it up. Now I'm going to start on the other side. I was trying to get a good angle so you guys can see how I was drizzling it. Drizzling the oil onto my hair strands, but of course, it the oil just spilled all over my skin. It was just a hot mess. <laughs> so not only was I dripping water, but I was dripping oil too. So ever since um, I cut inches off of my hair, I'm definitely trying to grow those inches back. So hopefully you guys stay tuned and um, I'm going to show you all my tricks that I use to grow my hair that worked for me and hopefully will work for you as well. So it sucks that I don't have that length anymore, but baby, I'm I'm finna get it all back. Trust and believe. Now, deep conditioning and adding a hot oil treatment together is such a great combination. Um, definitely you're gonna get that moisture that you need for your hair and it's important to always deep condition your hair every time that you uh, condition your hair during wash day you don't want to just be doing a quick conditioner you want to make sure that you do it for at least 40 to 
40 minutes to an hour. So I typically just condition my hair and then I'll sit under the dryer for 15 to 20 minutes to open my hair follicles. And then um, after that, the rest of the 30 minutes, I just chill, relax, do whatever. And then when it's time, then I go back in the shower and rinse all of the conditioner and oil out. I definitely go through a lot of conditioner. Um, I just use a whole bunch of it in my hair. I would have used a whole lot more if I had a lot more left over. I didn't realize it's the last minute because I had my hair in a protective style for the past couple months. So I didn't realize I was, I, I ran out of condition, almost ran out of conditioner to the last minute. So I was like, oh man, but I got to get this done. But usually I use a whole bunch of conditioner. So whatever I had left over, I wanted to make sure that I was able to spread it out throughout my hair. And I'm happy that I had enough to do that. So that's all that matters. And it may not look like it in this video, but it was it. My hair looks was super moisturized and the texture is soft too so that's the last part and the last section that I have to finish and then I'm going to be all done And I definitely use a lot of oil too. Every time I do a hot oil treatment, I always just be using up all the oil. I oil my hair up. So now I'm just gonna clip that up and now I'm going to add a little bit of oil onto the scalp and then apply some oil to the back and the front of my hair. Now I'm going to use a plastic bag to cover my hair. I usually use a shower cap, but I didn't realize I was out of those as well. <laughs> So I'm just going to use that as a backup plan and bam, your girl is all done and ready to go sit under the dryer for 15 minutes. Thanks for watching.